hi guys welcome back to my channel my name's kerry and if you're new here thank you for stopping by and if you're not new here thank you for coming back it really does mean a lot to me um just a quick thing i do have a baby she's just gone one actually so she's not really a baby anymore um she's currently sleeping i've got a baby monitor at the side of me so if you do hear a baby crying don't be alarmed it sounds really really loud coming through the monitor um but it's just because i've got the monitor at the side of me um so I've not really been active recently. Um, the reasons why is honestly, I haven't really had anything to film. Um, also, my baby just turned one, so I was organizing all her birthday and everything. I've been working, I've been doing college work, um, and we went on holiday. We've just been a little bit stacked out. And honestly, I just, I haven't had anything to film. I've not bought any mystery boxes. I haven't really been purchasing advent calendars. There's a couple that I've purchased in the Fri in the Black Friday sales, um, but they're not here yet. Um, but yeah, so I just haven't really had anything to film, honestly. Um, so yeah, not only that, but my baby, she seems to have just had illness after illness after illness. She had the flu, then she had a chest infection, then she had possible bronchiolitis, then she had a stomach bug. Um, honestly, it's just been like one thing after another. Um, so yeah, so I've just been focusing on baby, family, college, work, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's just where I've been, just really quickly. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is the calendar that I've been waiting for. So this is the P. Louise Advent Calendar, and this is Magic in the Memories. And this was £165. They did have a budget version, which was a 12-day calendar, I believe, because I think this is 25. It's either 24 or 25. Um, they did have a 12 day calendar and that was £65 I think and everything in it is unreleased as of September. So I, I got the mystery box last month. Um, I didn't unbox it because I saw, well I did, I saw quite a lot of um, negativity around it and I was it was sat on the, on the dining room table and I was like, do you know what, I'm just going to open it. Um, honestly, I wasn't really that negative about it. I quite like the products that's in it. Um, they're not products I would have chosen myself, admittedly, but they are still, you still got the five or six products, you still got more than the value of the box, so I was happy with it, um, but once mine arrived and I actually got to sitting down and looking at it, it, there was videos all over the internet, so I thought there's no point, there's no point unboxing it on, on screen. Um, so yeah, so this I've been super excited for, and I will say it is huge, and it is really heavy but yeah it's huge and it's really really heavy but one thing that i do absolutely love about it let me just turn off the big light one second be gone it's really dark how cute is this it lights up i i love it and i love all of the different scenes in there as well that she's done so we've got um we've got somebody that's pregnant so we've got a couple that's pregnant We've got somebody proposing, um, we've got a woman and her dog, um, we've got, is that a family and a dog, um, I think? Then we've got some people having a party, we've got a dis uh, disabled person, it's got a wheelchair in it, so I'm assuming, um, and it says 50, we 50 year wedding anniversary, then we've got a person and their child, um, or children, sorry, so I'm assuming a single dad, um, we've got somebody that's missing someone it says wish you were here then we've got a man and a woman i assume and a dog we've got um a man i assume decorating a tree by himself then we've got a woman and her child um and then we've got a man a woman and a child so I know when Paige released a TikTok on this, she did say this is what family means to her. This is what Christmas means to her. Christmas basically means family. And no matter what that kind of family is, it comes in all different shapes and sizes. Um, and she wanted to portray that on the calendar. So I really love that sentiment. I think it's beautiful. Um, and honestly, I think that this calendar is a centerpiece at Christmas just because of all the lights. I think it's so cute. Um, I will probably keep this box. I'm really weird like that. I'll probably keep this box as decoration. Um, but yeah, I do. I really, really love it. Only problem with mine is it came in a big box and this has come undone. It's not a huge issue. Um, and my little rooftops are a little bit bent. But again, it's not a big issue. It doesn't affect the use of the calendar in any shape or form. Let me put the big light on. 
but yeah it doesn't affect the calendar in any way shape or form so and you can also change the batteries as well look it like pulls out there and you get this little card that says change batteries here so yeah that was quite cute because i was trying to figure out how to turn it on and then i realized it's got some little pull tabs in it um so we'll just turn the lights off if you're new here don't forget to subscribe don't forget to ring the bell and don't forget to thumbs up this video if you do like this type of thing and of course if you've got any video suggestions anything that you want me to film anything you want to see on my channel um any mystery boxes any specific advent calendars that are still in stock um comment down below and if it's something i can get my hands on then i am more than happy um to try so yeah anyway guys without further ado let's get into unboxing this calendar because i'm so excited so it opens up like a wardrobe it is huge absolutely massive um so yeah so anyway it's 25 days as well but yeah let's go ahead and get into this calendar because i am so excited i've got high high hopes for this calendar and if a budget box is anything to go by i can't wait so yeah so let's go ahead and get into this calendar so box number one we have got ooh, what have we got kiss and makeup luxury gives your lips the luxury they deserve so this is a lip kit Ooh, ready to link up and make up whilst the best part of your day will never be the fight there's comfort in knowing they'll still be there to hold you tight agree to disagree and realize what you're missing open your hearts forgiveness is the key to start kissing you can still be a bad B and admit that every hard time makes you stronger. When all the dust is settled, just kiss and make up a little longer. Commit to luxurious lips. And that just looks like that. That's beautiful. So we've got the shades stripped and barely there. So I'm not going to swatch everything in this calendar because I don't know if I'm going to keep everything. Um, I don't... <sighs> I know she's just released a new collection and I'm really hesitant to buy it because I know that everything in this calendar is unreleased. So I don't really want to buy something and then it's in this calendar. So we've got the liner in stripped, which is just this like deep chocolate brown shade. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's actually gorgeous. And then we've got this lipstick. Oh, the packaging feels really good. It's metal, it's magnetic. I love it. Um, and the, oh my gosh, look at this. Can you see that? How beautiful is that? And this is in the shade Barely There. What an amazing combo. So that's door number one. Door number two, we've got a Rise and Shine Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Start your day with a glow. Confidence in your skin means confidence within. Um, so it just says, time to start the day to freshen up the face. I'll take my time to preen and pamper. Skincare is never a race. When morning has come and the dark has gone, there's one thing on my mind. I open my curtains and reach for you. I need my glow and shine. With the rising sun and bright blue sky, my skin longs for hydration. A slip of serum to add some moisture will change the situation. So plump and prepped, I'm ready to seize the day. When my skin shines like this, I can face anything that comes my way. And that just looks like that. I'm not going to open this. I don't need to open it. You all know what a hyaluronic serum looks like. Um, but yeah, so really, really excited to give that a go. Sorry, guys. Liliana keeps coughing. Um, I just need to make sure she's okay. Um, door number three is over here another heavy one so this is another p louise skin so this is self-love is the most valuable investment you will ever make confidence in your skin means confidence within um so this is an eye cream or oh, it's give it a rest eye cream so that just looks like that just looks like that so it says come on babe give it a rest and put your eye cream to the test remember babe you can't pour from an empty cup you've got to take care of yourself first so let's start by Quenching your skin's thirst, your under eyes are delicate and deserve, some of it's in gold and it's hard to read, deserve attention. This skin is precious, we need to provide protection. Wake up feeling rest rested and refreshed, tight and bright. Simply apply a layer before you say goodnight. 
So that's really nice. I really, really like that. I do love the little sentiments that she puts on stuff. I'm going to have to stop reading them, though, otherwise this video is going to be about 17 hours long. Um, number four is over here. So in number four, we've got an all-in, fall-in line. Um, oh, this is one of the double-ended liners. Um, so we've got burst, burst your bubble and blow your mind. So the packaging for this just looks like that. Yeah, I didn't shake it when we received these in the budget box and literally it went everywhere. Um, so these are the two colours that I have got. So a dark pink and a lighter pink. So the darker pink. Oh my gosh, so nice. Just looks like that. Very, very neon. Not something I would personally wear, but doing a makeup course could be good for graphic liner and then the pastel side just looks like that so just really really pretty colors i really really like them actually actually do you know what i might use that number four no that's number seven why is number seven upside down number five five is here so behind number five we have got P. Louise, exciting times, delve into a world of creamy goodness, eggnog scented bubble bath, uh, spicy and sweet, my favourite forever. Um, so we just got a bubble bath, creamy delicious bubbles to wash away your troubles. Oh, that's really cute. I'm going to smell this because I don't, what is eggnog? What is it? I know that it's massive in America, but I've never seen it in the UK and I don't actually know what eggnog is. I know it's alcohol. Um, but aside from that, I don't know anything about eggnog, so I'm going to give this a sniff. Oh, look at this. Look at the size of that. That's so cute. That is the cutest thing ever. Oh, that smells really nice, actually. It smells really sweet and really... Oh, it smells really nice, really creamy. But yeah, excited to try that. And no one will know the smell of eggnog, because no one knows what it is. Uh, number six now. Oh, we've got two products in here. Um, so we've got a lip drip, silk and satin, and we've got a hollow mini, what's this? Oh, a high shine gloss in the shade, I don't know. I don't know. So I've never tried these hollow glosses. But, oh, that is pretty. Yeah, I can't see a shade name on there. So that's really, really pretty. It just looks like that. So I'll give this a swatch. Doesn't smell of anything. Really, really pigmented gloss, though. So really, really like that. And then the lip drip in silk and satin. I've got quite a few of these now. Oh, that's a really pretty colour. No scent to that either. Just looks like that. It's a really, really pretty, really, really nice autumnal shades. Really happy with them. Number one, two, three, four, five, six. So number seven. Oh, yeah, it's the upside down one over here. Oh, this is heavy. So something else from Peel Louise Skin. Good night and glisten moisturizer. Um, so yeah, it's just a moisturizer. I'm not going to read everything because I uh, literally will be here forever. So that just looks like that. So so far we've got a nice a nice nighttime routine or a nice daytime routine. Day number eight. This one feels pretty weighty as well. We have got one of the Bad Bitch Energy Toasted Marshmallow. Um, feeling toasty so it's a lip conditioner and a lip oil um i'm not going to open this because i've got quite a few of these um and although i would like to smell it um toasted marshmallow i don't need another one i think i've got like three of these now and realistically they all do the same thing so i think i might possibly give this one away so i'm not going to open that one number nine Oh, was that number nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't have a number nine. I do. I've opened number nine. 
number 10. This one feels quite stacked. It's another one of the Bad Bitch Energy Juices. And this one is in Cookie Crumble. Um, again, a lip conditioner and a lip oil. I'm not really thrilled to have one straight after the other with this. And so far we are getting quite a lot of lip products. Um, but Cookie Crumble, I might keep that one. Again, I'm not going to open it and swatch it because I might keep it. I might not. I'm not 100% certain. Um, but yeah. We've got another one of them. Number 11. Something in Bubble Wrap Skin Bling. Ooh, a highlighter powder. Ooh, this is in the shade Gold Mine. I'm really excited for this because the only highlighters that I own from P. Louise are the ones in the palette. I can't remember which palette it is now, but it's in one of the palettes and it's got the two highlights at, this, at each end of it. They are stunning. I can't get into it. Good job I don't want to give it to someone, isn't it? Oh my god. So first of all, the packaging. Look at the packaging. <gasps> super, super cute. I love that. And oh, it's gold. It's literal gold. I can't wear that. I'm not going to swatch it. I'm not going to swatch it. I'll see if there's another one. If there's another one, I won't swatch this. If there isn't another one, I'm going to swatch it. And I'll just use it as eyeshadow or something. Because that is too cute. That is beautiful. That is stunning. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love the packaging. I really do love it. Surely she can't just put one in. Because not everybody's that skin tone. I hope there's another one in here to match me. I really hope there is. What number was that? Number 11, was it? Are we on number 12 now? Number 12. We've got two products in here. So we have got a Fairy Dust um, in the shade... Oh, okay. It's in the shade Fairy Dust. All right. Let your heart shine. And then we've got one of the skin paints in the shade Walk This Way. So that's the skin paint. I'm not going to swatch it because I feel like I've got this. And although I've got a few of these, I'm not sure if I've got Fairy Dust. Oh, I don't know if I've got it, but look at that. I don't think I've got this one. I feel like mine are pink, blue and purple. So it just looks like that. I don't. I really don't want it to go everywhere. And look at that. Oh, oh, oh! Beautiful, beautiful. Right. I'm gonna put that away before it goes everywhere. But that just looks like that. Super, super cute. Love that. Love that. I don't typically use pigments. However, again, doing a makeup course, they will come in handy. And then this, um, this cosmic cosmetic paint in walk this way i'm pretty certain i've got that upstairs so i'm not going to swatch it i'm not going to go up and hunt for it because like i said liliana is sleeping um and i don't want to wake her up looking for a makeup product um but yeah so i'm sure i've got that so i'm not going to swatch it number 13 now a higher just a quick dropping guys i think the reason that i kept getting confused on the number of doors that i'd opened was because some doors had multiple products in it um and that's where i was getting confused so i know in this video at least two doors I open late um so yeah I think I was getting confused because I was counting the products rather than counting the boxes that I'd already opened um so yeah so just quick side note on that so we've got a, another lip drip and this is in the shade partner in wine I feel like we've got quite a lot of lip products now although this is a really really pretty color again no scent to it oh my god look at that look at that absolutely stunning 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 love it right number 14 why have we got number six did we not do number six maybe this is the one that i lost is this another highlight no oh home is where the heart is what is this as long as we have love we have everything 
oh look at this i don't even know what it is yet but that is super super cute oh my gosh what is it what is it the start of each morning and the end of each night a place for all to feel safe when they turn out the light these walls tell stories of all that we shared special friends and loved ones nothing compares they say no place like home and i have to agree whenever i need comfort back home i will be oh that's really cute what is it oh my gosh oh this is so beautiful oh my god look so first of all we've just got a four pan palette but look so we've got a little moon i don't even know how it's coming out on camera but we've got a little moon there and we've got a little like a hand you know when you do that thing with your hand um so we've got that there then in this really pale one i don't know if you can see but it's like a man a woman and two children that's so cute and then in this one we've got a home so i'll give these ones a swatch for you these are so cute and exactly like any other p louise formula absolutely stunning i hope i don't get this all over my jumper i'm really bad at swatching but yeah they just look like that i didn't go in with a heavy hand um so just bear that in mind but that is so precious oh my god i love that i think that's probably my favorite thing in the calendar let me get a wipe before this goes all over my jumper oh my god guys this calendar is just oh my gosh it's so so cute i just can't get over how cute it is um number 14 now i think we're on 14 anyway um so we have got what's this we have got a real thick thick formula lip gloss or zero 200 real thick instead of real quick um and this is in the shade i'm extra so another lip product um i'm not mad because i feel like we haven't had this kind of a lip product yet um and i didn't know that she did this in a gloss um i know that she does this kind of a, a thing in the lipsticks but that's just there it's beautiful beautiful shade i love that um so yeah we'll definitely get some use out of that and it is thick as well number 15 oh my god i'm excited for these big boxes please be another highlight has me had me blushing so this is a blush double the impact oh it's a duo so we've got love drunk and in my feels um so the outer packaging just looks like this and then inside oh my gosh this is so cute again oh look look at this so that's what it looks like and then you just swivel it around so it says a flushed from within glow the perfect pop of color i thought it was a double right okay so we've got this shade here which okay i don't like that because there's no shade actually on this so i'm gonna assume this is love drunk i'm gonna assume i think so that just looks like that oh very fiery there's that one and then how all oh, right okay right so first off we've got a little mirror i like that and then all oh, right okay so it opens up again so it opens up like this and i'm gonna assume this one is in my feels which is probably the one that i would wear and that just looks like that oh my gosh so pretty really really pretty i do like that although it's very complicated to understand and now i've got blush all over it um i'm not bothered it wipes um but yeah a little bit of a a cute but strange component number 17 I'm praying for another highlight at this point. So we've got something in Tutti Fruity. Um, so this is a liquid blush. Again, I'll take this out of the box and show you, but I don't think I'm going to swatch this because I'm pretty certain I've got this shade upstairs. Um, but it's just a cream blush. They are really, really pretty. It just looks like that. And then we get a little powder puff thing on the end not a powder puff sorry a squeezy puff thing um you can actually take that off and just in fact i'll just swatch a tiny bit for you but that just looks like that there look at the state of this hand with all these swatches um and then if i do give that away at least it isn't all over the little 
thing so yeah so I, I do really really like these blushes i really do um but i'm pretty certain i've got this shade upstairs so i i'm not i, I didn't really want to swatch it but i did oh we're getting into the big ones uh number 18 is this very flat one here um so we've got three products in here what have we got in here let's have a look so we have got three of her smoochy liners so we've got the shade first grade crush and temptation i don't have any of these so i will give these a swatch for you so first grade is like a really nice brown shade and that just looks like that there really really pretty I love the liners as well. They're just they're so smooth. They just go on so, so smooth. Then we have... What's this one? Oh, we didn't do 16. Oh, my God. This calendar is just all over the place. We'll do 16 next. Then this one, we have got Temptation, which is another brown. I love that they're wearable shades. It's very similar to the first one that we swatched. Um, but that's just there. That's that one. Really pretty again. Really, really wearable shade. And then the last one is in the shade Crush, which I'm going to assume is maybe like a, a lighter brown. Um, oh, no, no. I was wrong. It's more like a ready brown. So it is a lighter brown, but it is more of a ready brown. It's just that one there. So yeah, really, really pretty. Really, really like them. Oh, I'm excited. I love, I love P. Louise stuff. I just love it. Next thing, so we'll go back to number 16 now. This calendar's a mess in it. It's all over the place. I'm just too excited. Um, so we've got a wet set. Uh, we don't say sorry for setting high standards around here, babe. Um, so this is in Olive Obsession. I think this is one of the eye things. Wet and set setting pigment yes it is um so that just looks like that we got one of these in easter when we got the liner actually um so i'll give this a swatch because i definitely don't have this shade Ugh. don't look like a very nice color i'm not gonna lie it's a nice color but it's not a nice color if that makes sense kind of looks a bit like baby poo that just looks like that there so it is a really nice color really nice unique color but not a nice color if that makes sense um but yeah so really really happy with that oh my god this calendar is just giving everything so i'm assuming the products that we've already got like the wet set and the double liner and things like that i wonder if these are new shades two we fruit in that blush though really does ring a bell so I don't know if that's a new shade. Now we're back on track. So we're number 19. This feels really heavy. Something big and green. What is this? Oh my gosh. It's one of the bath bombs. So I know that this is new. Um, I know she's only just released these. Um, this is apple. That is... It smells so good. It smells really nice. And it just looks like a little cassette tape. Personally for me... Oh... I wonder if it changes colour. Place the bath bomb into a bathtub filled with warm water, allow to dissolve, soak and enjoy. It doesn't say anything about it, like changing colour, but I wonder if it does. Um, Because, yeah, but I was going to say, personally, I would snap this in half, but I wouldn't. I'd want to see all the colours. That's really childish, but I would. It smells really, really good. It smells so good um number 21 now have we done 20 was that 20 maybe that was 20 oh no tw oh oh this is 20 look i'm not gonna lie this feels really really light and feels like there's barely anything in it but look at the size of this box what is it Oh, it's one of her cups. I really do like these. I don't personally use them. Um, I probably should, actually, but I don't 
I don't use them. Um, I do like them for decoration though. Um, I think they're really, really cute. And this one says magic in the memories, cold nights and warm hearts. And that just looks like that. So that's really, really cute. But yeah, I probably should use them actually. Comes with a plastic straw like that. Comes with a lid that you can obviously pop on. Um, but yeah, I really do like them. Probably should use them. Number 21 now. I'm really, really waiting for that other highlighter. Um, so this is a matte lipstick, full coverage matte finish hydrating formula. And this is in the shade Always Yours. So the outer carton just looks like this. What does that say? Remember, rem, remin, or oh, remin kissing instead of reminiscing, remin kissing. Um, so that just looks like that. That's the outer packaging. And then inside, oh, just another one of these lipsticks oh my gosh so look how how satisfying is that love that love it um and then oh we've got all the lovely little imprints again i really really like that i think it's so so cute um and this just looks like that a really nice orange nude peachy nude almost i really do like that that's really pretty um right where are we at now 22 we're nearly there guys oh this is heavy this feels heavy oh my god i think this is a palette so this is the bride to be palette i think i've got this i feel like i got this in the last mystery box that i got not the last one sorry the one before where she released all the teen bride stuff um it just looks like that on the inside they're actually down here so let me have a look because if i don't have it i'll swatch it if i've got it i won't I do have it. I thought I did. I thought it was very familiar. Um, I haven't swatched this one either. <laughs> uh, maybe I was just a bit unsure about it. Well, now I'm definitely going to keep one. So let me just wipe all of this off of my hand and then I'll do some swatches. So I've wiped my hand that um, wet and set. It, it don't want to budge. So if, if you're thinking about getting some, they are very long wearing. What's this bit of hair doing? I wish it would go away. Right, so let's give this a swatch. Oh my gosh, the formulas. I love it. So there's a couple of shades that you're probably not going to see. This one here and this one here because they are quite sort of skin tones. Um, but as you can see, it's a very dark, warm toned palette. Really, really pretty. Two beautiful shimmers there. Two, as I say, like sort of setting tones and then a few um nice brown tones so very very wearable palette um i love the p louise formula i must have been on and ahhing about that one just because i've got so many palettes um but now i guess i'm gonna keep it anyway as i now have a second one so yeah happy with that and obviously that's because i bought the budget box so that's my fault and I knew everything was unreleased as of September and still chose to buy that box so that's on me. 23, I don't think we're going to get another one of them highlights guys. So in 23 we have got some lashes and this says New Heights False Eyelashes. I'm going to assume that's the style New Heights so they look really really pretty. Um, let's pull them out. I don't think they come with glue. I'm not bothered because I always use duo glue anyway. Um, but they just look like that. If you can see, really, really pretty. Really, really fluffy. Really wispy. They are beautiful. Really, really pretty lashes. I can't wait to try them. Number 24. We have got another blush. This is in Raspberry Ribbon. Um, this one I know I definitely don't have so I will swatch for you I mean I swatched the other one anyway but the outer packaging just looks like this and then inside just looks like this so really really pretty I really really like that shade give it a bit of a shake and then I'll just do the same I'll pop the top off because then if I don't like it I can always pass it along to somebody else and that just looks like that really really pretty shade obviously you only need a tiny, tiny amount of these and they do sheer out a lot. Um, so, yeah, it's a really, really, really pretty shade. And then the final door, number 25. This is really heavy. This has to be a full-size palette. 
it is it is what is it timeless treasures oh my god once in a lifetime you'll search for treasure not gold or silver but it's worth is beyond measure um oh my gosh this is beautiful i love it i don't even know what it looks like yet but i love it to have so we've got the, the typical p louise thing um and then obviously all these things inside move around as normal so i love that and then in, oh my gosh oh oh this is so cute so we get the mirror as always and then we get this so we've got some little emblems look we've got an old couple we've got um like a gay proposal we've got somebody kissing um a baby bump i'll give you a close-up in a second a lady with a dog we've got a man with a child we've got a family um then we've got like a little plant pot a little time egg timer thing um a little graveyard um we've got a money thing we've got a number one symbol we've got a diamond um oh my god that's really really cute i don't know how well it's gonna like come across on camera but oh my gosh that's so so cute i'm not gonna swatch them all i'm just gonna swatch a couple um because otherwise as i said this video will be about 79 years long but oh my gosh oh my gosh i love it i almost don't want to dig in like because i'll do a couple of the mats so i've swatched four. Oh, so they're just there like look at them shades phenomenal phenomenal her her formula honestly is second to none and then as promised i am going to swatch that highlighter because if i like the formula of it i'm going to see if she does one for my shade um that's the probably the only thing i'm a little bit disappointed with in this calendar you get a mirror and then this one. Oh my god it's like butter but that is literal gold <laughs> yeah literal literal gold I, like there's no way i could share that out. okay i've got a friend that's got deeper skin than me now that i've swatched it i might just pass it on to her um but yeah what did you guys think of this calendar i'm blown away by this calendar i think it is amazing don't get me wrong i think we've got a lot of lip products i do but we did get a full well we got two full-size eyeshadow palettes we've got a little four pan palette um we got um a blush we got a loose pigment we got a highlight we got two cream blushes we got quite a few skincare products um yeah i'm really really happy with the contents of this calendar um is it worth 165 pound for me personally yes i think it is for some maybe not because you might not use everything but for me i personally think it's worth 165 pound i'm really really happy that i got this calendar i'm actually regretting not getting the 12 day calendar because it would have been nice to get it and give it to say my daughter or my friend or something like that as a christmas gift um so i am kind of regretting not getting the 12 day one the only reason i didn't get it is because it did say online that it, there will be repeated products to what's in this one so i thought there's no point um but yeah so let me know in the comments down below guys what are your thoughts have you bought this calendar did you want to buy this calendar but you missed it did you want to buy this calendar but was put off by the by the price point so 165 pound it's not the cheapest of calendars um but yeah have you bought it are you looking forward to it have you already opened it let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys um that's it from me i'm gonna go and try and find a place for all this stuff now honestly my drawers are bursting at the seams again but yeah i'm gonna go try and find a place for all of this stuff um i'm gonna go clean my hand have a shower um and yeah anyway guys thank you for watching um if you're new here don't forget to ring the bell thumbs up if you like this type of thing um and don't forget to subscribe as well um it does mean a lot to me so yeah anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye